Hello, all Teen Morning Girl here. Today I'm here with an 1860s style dress that I made. It's It'll fit the Pleasant Company dolls, but it'll be kind of snug. But the dress itself is made out of eyelets, and I kept the scalloped edges of this eyelet right here to form a pretty hem. So you can see there's all that pretty detailing on the edges of the eyelet. It also has some more leaves up there, but it is trimmed with lace, um, vintage lace. There's even lace on the collar here. Little satin bows. So the lace goes all the way around on the dress. Little satin bows serve as little buttons, so I've done my best to secure them as much as possible. It's like, just look at all that pretty detailing on the eyelet. It's just, I just really think eyelet's really pretty and it's just really a feminine fabric. Which I think really goes well for this dress. As you can see, the trim goes all the way around. The dress closes up the back with Velcro. What's also interesting is that back then, how they couldn't quite wash clothes like we do today. So like you could just throw something in the washing machine and wait for it to be done and you have clean clothes. So white was often really worn by people who could afford it. So it's like that's why you see so many few white dresses and if people did have a white dress, it was often really detailed just to show off their wealth. It's like how people would get plaid fabrics. That way you could show, oh we can afford to make this dress and look how much extra fabric I can afford in order to make all these ends match up. Or people would buy curtains and just have it puddle on the ground just to show off how much money they could afford. I mean, even when indoor plumbing became a thing, it was people would have people wouldn't cover it. They just leave it out in the open so like, oh look what well, we can afford. We can get indoor plumbing. And anyways, I'm kind of rambling a bit, so hope everyone's having a good day and see you next time.